Okay, today I want to just hook up the sprinkler system and make it its own separate system for it, each individual room. So, first I want to select all of them. And the reason why there's large circles around it is so that I know there's a 15 foot radius. That way I know sort of an idea of where I need to put my sprinklers, which I added that in the family, which I'll, when I'm finished, I'll, I'm going to edit and take out. So I choose the four sprinklers in the nurse's office, and I just choose piping, and I want to give the system a name, which I'll name it the room name. Now the system has been created over there in the system browser. You can see that it's noticing that it knows it's a system. Which let's press on here, highlights. Even if you press tab, it also should select the whole system. I want to generate a layout. Before you, I want to go to the settings and make sure my offset. So it's offsetting from the sprinkler. I want it to 9 8 because that's what my mains are. Finish it. And this would be my main and I'm going to run a pipe just well first I want to make sure my main is at the elevation it's supposed to be and just run from there to there. Of course, change the elevation first. And there. The system has been created and it's been hooked up to the main. Right now I want to check and make sure that this pipe is obviously the, needs to be under fire protection wet and of course all the fittings also.